What's going on campers? Camp Facer here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. I know it's been a little bit, but you guys, I just got back from Texas visiting all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974 movie locations, meeting up with my friend Josh. The videos are on my channel. Go back and watch them. There's part one, two, and three. Definitely awesome. I appreciate it. It was so much fun. Something I'll never forget. Anyways, in today's video, we have a chicken and more. Let's get into it. Camp Facer. <laughs> Okay, before we start this video, make sure to like, subscribe, click notifications to all because this is the place we talk Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game and more. I also want to do a big shout out to all my camp members for joining the channel and supporting this channel. If you guys are looking to become a member and get exclusive member only videos and much more, please visit the link down in the description below and I thank you. Let's get into it. So today we have an image what appears to be a chicken. And if you guys remember Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974 when Pam walks into the TCM house and she walks through the, the little uh, drape and trips and falls into the bone room with all the feathers, you see this chicken. And that's where we actually ate lunch inside that room which was amazing to sit in there and and say that we got to sit in the bone room where pam tripped but anyways moving on we have the chicken that appears to be from the film this is real you guys this is not a joke i think wes and gun interactive are really trying to start to fuck with us here because what what other purpose would a chicken be in this game i, I can't see it just being there not making any noise just for display that being said i think this is some kind of an alarm to the sawyer family the killer if you're sneaking around the house and you i i have a feeling if you walk by this chicken he sees you nugget's gonna go crazy he's gonna start freaking doing his thing and making all this noise and it's gonna be an alarm to this the, the killers the sawyers and they're gonna come in there and chop you up so I don't think it's a good idea to try to sneak around there and hide on the other side of that uh, dresser there near Nugget. Unless you can kill it. I mean, if you can, I'm going to chop him up and have him for uh, a, a chicken sandwich. But anyways, moving on, we have more news. Yes, that's right. There's more. Over on Instagram, Gun Interactive actually made a Maria Flores tribute page to help dive into the story of Maria Flores. Now, if you guys don't remember, Gun Interactive posted a photograph of the gas station, which led to the missing girls flyer that was on the tree in that photo. And that was Maria Flores. Well, now she's got her own tribute page on Instagram. Maria Flores, Maria, where's Maria? Is Maria around? We're looking for our friend Maria. And there's got to be a little story behind her, a little mystery. Now, I followed this page and I wanted to be involved in this story to see if I could learn more about this Maria Flores girl. I can't find anything yet, but I feel like they're up to something. I, I feel like I'm going to see something like maybe a dead body out in the woods or the trees or near the road there. Uh, but let's let's read a little bit about this. It says Maria Flores Spring 1973. Maria disappears while traveling Central Texas. These are her photos recovered among our possessions as tribute to her creative spirit. Now, I assume that whoever is talking there it must be her family. Uh, obviously, it wouldn't be like somebody that's not related to her. So, diving into the photo, let's go back to the first one they posted of the road. Which way am I going, left or right here? I'll go to the road first. Now it says, while cleaning out some old family storage, see, there you go, it's family. We found an old shoebox with some of Anna's things. Who's Anna? Is Anna like in the short for Maria? This is the first picture that Maria sent back to Anna in 1973. Who's Anna? Maria had this impassioned and adventurous spirit when she set out on a small photography tour outside of Austin. 
can't help but imagine a small breeze touching her face as she took this one, unaware of what tomorrow might hold, but always hopeful. Again, I'm like looking into these photos, you guys, and I just feel like there's something hidden within the photo. But moving on. The first one here says, I wonder what drew Maria into this field for this picture. Was it the blue bonnets? The long dead tree stump? Maybe it's that one tree catching the light from the sun while all the rest are hidden in the shadows. In the end, the why probably doesn't matter as much as the result when that result is a perfect spring morning. I think they're great photos. I want to say that Matt or Ronnie Hobbs took these photos for real because they went out to Texas on a long journey. I think it was last summer they mentioned and they probably just took photo after photo. They visited all these locations. But wow, these are great images, you guys. I give them props for that. Uh, I just feel like we're going to see something that's going to lead to part of the story within this Instagram account. So I highly recommend if you're into this game and into the story, go follow Maria Flores tribute page on Instagram. I did. I'm going to hopefully find out more information. But anyways, that being said, that's it for the video today. I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it as always. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Let's talk more about this. And as always, campers, stay out of the woods. <laughs>